You know Fernando Botero's work. Maybe you know his name. But few knew Botero as well as Salomon Lerner. My friend Fernando. My friend. Here, Salomon. One of the most recognizable and successful artists of the 20th century, Fernando Botero's work resonates worldwide for its dialogue with universal themes. Botero's journey began in humble circumstances near Medellin, Colombia. Fueled by artistic ambition and a scholarship, he found himself at the prestigious Academia San Fernando in 1952. His encounters with the masterworks of Giotto, Caravaggio, and Piero della Francesca in Italy, and critically with the genre scenes and still lifes of Dutch, Flemish, and Spanish masters like De Him, Sanchez Cotan, and Velázquez in Spain, among many others, informed his reinterpretations of these works throughout his career. In his painting Florero, he synthesizes the delicate beauty of Dutch still lifes with the overblown iconography of pop art. Each brushstroke plays with size, proportion, and perception, infused with imagery and thematic elements from influences ranging from Rococo to Kitsch. This monumental painting offers a towering testament to Botero's technical skill and wit. In Jugando a las Cartas, Botero takes historical examples from painters like Caravaggio, Cezanne, and De La Tour, and imparts his own style of theatricality to a game of cards. In contrast to the seriousness of Cezanne's card players, we are presented with a festive atmosphere of Medellin's red light district and rather than De La Tour's distinctly moralizing framing, Botero is ambivalent. His cheater tips his hand not only to the viewer, but to his opponent. La Coleccionista exhibits the diverse characters that Botero explored over the course of his career. The female nude, the ruler figure, the still life, the family portrait. He positions himself within the historical narrative and reflects on his artistic output. In doing so, he intertwines and complicates the relationships between the artist, the artwork, the collector, and us, the viewer. But more often than not, it was a conversation with friends. Botero formed a lifelong bond with Salomon Lerner, the visionary founder of Libreria Lerner, who not only collected his work, but championed it from day one. Salomon edited the artist's first major monograph in 1977, catapulting him to a new level of celebrity. Lerner went on to edit numerous important monographs on the artist's work, including the catalog for Botero's 1987 landmark exhibition at the Museo Nacional Centro de Arte Reina Sofia in Madrid. The Lerner collection is a physical manifestation of this friendship. From their shared love of bullfighting in La Arena to their commitment to family in La Familia. Today, the collection of Salomon and Rosita Lerner remains a tribute to Botero's dialogue with the world and the people he loved. <laughs>